Hey friends, in today's video, we are going to be unjarring these two jewelry jars that I picked up at the antique mall. Okay, two little jewelry jars from Rice Blossom. How cute is that name? So they were originally $8 each, but I got them for 20% off. So I'm excited. Let's open them up and see what's inside. Okay, so I did find some fun stuff in there. Um, but the main thing, the reason why I bought the jar was because I saw this piece right here and it is marked 585, which means 14 karat gold. And this piece right here is marked 925 sterling. Now I couldn't find any mark on these two pieces right here, but I suspect that those are real gold too. I'm thinking about making a quick trip up to my jeweler and see if they are real gold and what they would give me for them. So let's see what else is in here. Then this pretty big brooch. It's a gorgeous brooch, but it is missing uh, a ton of pieces. It's marked Trifari. I'm not sure if this is something somebody would want with all these missing pieces, but I will tell you, I recently watched uh, Vintage Bombshells latest video about making a wreath out of uh, broken, pretty vintage jewelry. And I'm thinking about maybe saving this for uh, to do a project similar to what she did. So if you guys haven't checked her out, check her channel out. I love her channel. Uh, the other fun thing that I found was this bracelet right here. Let me zoom out. So it's a really nice bracelet. Uh, I think it was originally meant to hold or, or have like five strands. Wait, no, six strands. Yeah, six strands, but one of them broke off, which is why it was probably in this jar. But there is a designer on here, and I've never heard of this before. It's marked Joseph Hollywood. And I did look up some comps on that, and I'll roll them here in the video so you can see those on eBay, the solds. So I am, um, I don't know, I might try and list this as is with the broken piece. Some collectors out there might want it and maybe be able to repair it somehow. So that piece, I got this cold bolo. Um, it is pretty worn though here at the ends. So just a little seed bead necklace and then some shell, probably uh, some kind of souvenir piece, uh, more souvenir pieces. These uh, lightweight little bracelets and then just some uh, some like little disc beads, green like jade color. Um, oh, I forgot to look at this one up close. I wonder if this one is silver. Let's see if it sticks. It's not sticking to the magnet. I'll have to look at that one closer. And then this one and I still got one more to open. Okay, second jar is open. I have everything spread out. This jar was not near as spectacular as the first jar, but there were some fun finds in here. So we have this um, little cameo pendant here and it's a locket as well, it opens. So that one's real pretty. And then there's another little pendant over here. Real pretty. It looks like the sun maybe, or actually I think it's like a clock. This is a clock. So my original thought was it's a sun with a bird. <laughs> it's so funny how people's perspectives are different, but then looking at it closer, I definitely see that it is a watch or a clock with the little hands on it. Um, we got a little apple pendant here, enamel green and gold and yellow. And we have a little anchor pendant or charm. Gorgeous one earring. That'd be, that'd be really pretty to add to the wreath as well. And then a bunch of these pieces like this, I don't know if they were for jewelry making or what, but there are no clasp at the end or anything. And there's several of those. A little Geneva watch piece, a four leaf clover pendant or a charm. And then let's see, this one's just like lightweight plastic. And then some letters, a J, an N, and a Z. Some clip earrings, screw back earrings, little penguin pendant. So yeah, and then there were a bunch of these, uh, gold, I thought they were like gold necklaces. They're definitely magnetic. 
and then the end of all of them look like this so i was thinking maybe they're like eyeglass clip holders or something there's like i don't know like five of them but yeah they're definitely appealing whenever you look at them sitting in a jar right <laughs> so lots of fun stuff um but yeah i'm gonna take these other pieces to the jeweler and uh see if these are worth anything we'll see